people like Hank Wheeler, Wheeler and his team, who quickly began the temporary and emergency repairs after the devastating storm, August 29, 2005. The physicians and staff that are here today, who had their own personal rebuilding to do, but they stayed committed to the needs of this community so that services were available very soon after the storm. So many of you have been with us each step of the way during this reconstruction, such as Roy Anderson. Where are you at, Roy? Roy and his subcontractors who helped us to complete the five phases of reconstruction in just under three years and ahead of schedule. And frankly, I find that to be an amazing feat. Thank you, Roy, and all your partners. And as I said, you need the local people inside the building to keep a project of this magnitude on course and on schedule. And for that, I'd like to turn it over to Hank Wheeler, who's our facilities director. And Hank has been with us throughout this entire um, scenario. I'm sure he could write a book about it. And I don't think I'm speaking out of course, but uh, Frank, uh, Hank has uh, told us he's probably retiring after the first of the year. And it's, it's a testament to him that he wanted to see this project through. And I've known him for just a very short time, but he's a, a wonderful man. We're very fortunate to have him looking out for this facility and helping us to get back on our feet. Thank you, Paul. Well, thank you everybody for coming out. I just wanted to uh, take a couple minutes. We've had a couple of other openings and, uh, where we've recognized folks, so I won't go through a, a 30 minute list. Um, but I would like to recognize uh, a couple of folks in the audience. Uh, our FEMA representative, Patricia Morrison, uh, she's a closeout specialist. She has been particularly helpful. Uh, from MEMA, we've got Diane Sager, who's the Bureau Director, and Joe Tomba is a technical support uh, tech that has helped me out personally just uh, over and over and over again. And Joe, thank you so much for your continued support. We wouldn't have gotten where we are without, without you all. So thank you all very much. And as Polly mentioned, uh, Roy Anderson, uh, Roy didn't do much, but uh, some of his folks did. <laughs> uh, I would like to recognize Mark McDaniel uh, as, as Vice President of Operations. Shane Inbert was our uh, project manager at the end. Uh, Ryan Markle started it off and he was here for most of the project and then Shane came in and finished it off. Charlie Warden, the assistant project manager, Charlie's here today. Uh, and then Dave Oakwin was the superintendent. And frankly, as Polly mentioned, eight, we, we finished this thing eight months early. And it wasn't by accident, it was by a lot of good coordination and, and work with the contractors. So we are very, very appreciative. Um, Another, another person I need to, to mention is Yuki Northington. And when you go through the hospital today, and please, if you haven't had a chance, go through the hospital and check it out. Uh, Yuki has done a wonderful job in, in decorating our hospital. And she's been our interior designer for uh, the, through the whole project. And congratulations to Yuki. I, I'm really proud of what she's done. Here you have, Yuki. I wanted to also thank, of course, all my, my employees and, and the, my, the rest of my hospital uh, co cohorts that have just worked with us uh, throughout this process. And of course, one name I, I have to, to, to mention is Virginia Kenny. Um, and she, uh, and I'll tell you, when we did the last opening for the surgery, I made a big list of everybody to recognize and guess whose name I didn't mention. And she was probably the most prominent in the bunch, and I didn't mention her. So God bless you, Virginia. I owe you one. 